2023 D1 football tryouts. Uh, making this intro brings back so much uh, deja vu from last year. I remember last year around this time when I tried out last year, I was in my dorm. I was a freshman, everything, everything was different. I was nervous, like, I was nervous. I was like, I was nervous a lot. But this year, um, I'm excited to try out this year. I'm not as nervous as I was last year. Um, hopefully, um, things go well um, and I can have the stamina and everything to do all the drills. So right now, I think there's about two hours till tryouts. Um, but I'm gonna go to class and then from class, I'm gonna head to tryouts. Um, so they told us to meet at the same place that we met for the orientation and they're going to lead us inside for warm ups and tryout drills. Um, so this is going to be a vlog. This is going to be the vlog for this year, um, 2023. Thank you guys for following along my journey. If you didn't, um, I've uploaded two practice videos. This should be in the description. And if you didn't watch my last year's zone, it's also in the description. So, um, what's that thing? Basically in this video, I'm going to give y'all like, for example, the intro, which is right now, then I'm going to give y'all, um, on my way there, I'm going to tell y'all how I'm feeling and what to expect. And then at the tryout, I'll probably get to try to get some inside footage. And after the tryout's done, I'm going to come back to this exact same spot. And I'm going to tell y'all, um, how it went, what drills we did, how long it lasted, how many people and my, like my opinions and how I think I did. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the email they sent for us for the tryout and let's get into the video. Okay, so right now I'm currently on my way to the tryout place, just came out of class. Uh, my stomach's hurting for some reason, I don't know why, probably because I'm nervous or something, or but my stomach hurts. Uh, but I'll see y'all when I get inside. Oh, it's not time yet. Yeah, it's ready, huh? You can practice. You're number 13 and you're in group two. Okay. Thank you. John, you're number 13. So um, it is currently nighttime. Trials already happened uh, about three hours ago. I'm going to give you guys my insight. Um, usually, right after the tryout i give like a analysis or like a little opinion of how i think i did like how i did last year but this year i, I could not do that because i was out first of all number one i was tired obviously and second of all i had to go to i had to rush to a test i had a test right after like or i had a test like uh around that time like i had to, I had to go back home and come back and take my test so I didn't have time to update y'all along the way, but I'll say everything in here. So just stay tuned and get ready. So um, I'm gonna take y'all through before getting in the tryout place. So I went to where we did orientation. First of all, went to that building. It wasn't in that building. So they directed us to, a con to their construction route to turn and go into like an area, just like some just some muddy area they're doing construction on for their new facility. So we, I went through that area, went there. They had a tent set up for check-in where, and then another station set up for height and weight. Um, my height, they said was 5'9", which is obviously wrong because I'm six feet. But uh, my weight was 193, which is an increase because the last time I weighed myself, I was 176. So that was a good thing. Um, I was number 13. I don't know. In the video, you're probably going to see it. 
but um, I was number 13 in the clip before this probably. I showed the number, I was number 13. Um, and I'm gonna go give y'all a rundown. So when we first entered, I came in at like around 3.45, check-in was four o'clock. So everybody was just there sitting down, waiting, uh, waiting for, yeah, just waiting to get checked in. Um, There's about 50 people, I believe, um, about 50 people. And not everybody from the orientation came to tryouts. Probably they didn't turn their paperwork or they were just busy and didn't come. So that was a good, that was a good sign seeing few people there. Um, the next thing that happened after we checked in, when four o'clock hit, we checked in, they gave us our number. They told us which number we are. I was number 13, gave us our Jersey number. Um, then we had to go take our weight and height. They told you what your weight and height was. Then we had to run all the way to start warmups and they started that quick. So we were waiting there for a while. And then that's when the action started. Before we even get to the warm up, something funny happened. Something funny happened. Before we were, before, before, right before they're about to do warm ups, uh, one of the coaches or personnel came up to me. And I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time it happened. Like, this, this made me figure out that I had mad motion in C stat. Like, I got motion on the D1 football walk on, walk on scene. So he came up to me and he said, This, you don't got no mic on you, do you? He said, We know about your YouTube. I was like, Mike, mic'd up. Nah, I said, I, nah, I said, nah, I don't got no mic on me. Like, oh, I said, you watch the YouTube? He said, yeah, we know about your channel. We know about all the football videos you made. I was like, oh, okay, that's fire. He said, you don't got no cameras here or nothing? I said, nope, I don't got no cameras. I said, everything's in my bag. When I said everything's in my bag, you should have seen this man's face. He said, he did. He said, well, you brought, you brought everything here with you? I was like, the only thing I bring is my phone. That's all I use to record. I don't use, I don't got no professional equipment. And he was like, okay, just making sure. He said, yeah, just making sure. And I was like, okay. And when, when he left, I gave him the little side eye, like, oh, why, why are you approaching me? Like off the rip, that was before tryouts. So off the rip, I felt like I had a target on my back. Um, I don't know if it was a good target or a bad target. Cause the way he, the way he made it seem, he seemed like he was angry, but like two minutes after that, like when I saw him talking to the other coaches, that same angry man was just laughing with them. So I think he's just angry with the with the people trying out, but not an angry person, if you feel what I'm trying to say. So um, this reminds me of my number one op from last year. Um, last year, I remember I said, I remember if you don't remember, I said there was a coach that he like, he was on me, like he was literally on my meat, like he was on me kind of thing. And I think this year, he's, he's, he's my, He's my number one op. Tryouts started off, um, we were cut into groups of like seven, I think. Everybody had to go to a drill station. Like I said in the previous clip, four minutes each station. So the first station I was at, um, actually I can't recall, but first station I was at, one of the stations I was at, that was the one I said I clutched up. I, went, I was Jordan Poole in that moment. They had one, two, three, four cones. The first time, the first one, they made you just run, like you ran, I think it was like 10 yards, you ran and then you had to skip, shuffle, 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 and then shuffle, shuffle, like backwards kind of thing. That was the first one. The second one they did, they tried to do like a little angular twist to it. So they made you run diagonally, shuffle, 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 and then sprint back diagonally. So they try to, they try to twist it up, but that's the one I did the best on, I think. Then obviously they had the ladders go normal, uh, one leg in, one leg out, and do it quick as possible. That one, I did not do it quick. I took my sweet time. Like I could not, like my feet, I don't know, the, the first, actually, wait, the first time I did it, I did it extra fast. Like I was literally hopping in that. Like he was like, the, the, the coach said, the, the coach for that drill said, stop hopping. He said, stop hopping, do it right. I'd rather you do it slow than not do it right. So that was, that, that was funny. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the coaches were on me in the drills only because I was fatigued. Like I, multiple times I went down on my knees, like my hands were on my knees, my hands were on my knees. And most of the time my hands were like this. I was like this and they could hear my, they could hear my heavy breathing. They're like, I was like, water. One more time. You know what, one more time. I just kept on going. Like I, I literally, I think halfway through the drills, I had no energy. So let me continue to what else was there. So that was the first one, ladders were there. And then 
this angry coach. Same dude from last year, wears his glasses, big beard, like a brown beard, has a black patch. Man, he's, he's the dude that, uh, he was there, but he like he's just an angry coach. Like, he just looks angry. He's not, I don't know if he's angry or not, but he just has an angry, angry face, if you know what I'm saying. But he was there and that, that kind of that kind of shook me in my boots. But um, the third one they had was the one where I said last year um, they had the coach in the front. He you would you would stand up by shuffling in the middle, and then he would direct you to a direction right, and you would have to shuffle there, and then you would stay there, and then he would direct you to left. You shuffle there, and then you stay there until he makes you move and you run all the way forward. So that one. I messed up the first time. It's like I messed up the first time on everything, but I messed up the first time um, because I was trying to predict. I was trying to predict his movement, so I, I moved quick. And before he even said to go, I was already running. He said, "Wait for me, you." Okay, he said, "He said wait for me," and I said, "I said I got you, coach." I said, "I got you." And then the second time, you know, I did it better. But the first time, I feel like I messed up in like all of them kind of thing, cause like I don't know why. And then the fourth one we did was the the last speed bag. So they had a big bag. So imagine four big bags, one, two, three, four, four big bags. And the first one was simple and easy. You one foot over in, one foot over in, one foot in each bag kind of thing. One foot in the middle and you just run straight and look up. You don't look at the bag. Um, you don't look at the bag. So that was the first one. Second one was, I think it was sideways, two feet in and as quick as possible and then run and sprint out. The next one was, they had, I think this one did four of them. You go, the four bags are still in the middle, but you go shuffle through one of the bags, go shuffle through the other bag, go shuffle through the other bag and finish. And the fourth one, I don't remember. This is the one I think I said they, they switched up from last year. This was different from last year. Last year, I remember I told y'all it's an L drill, just one cone. Like you saw in my practice video, one cone one cone and one cone, just three cones. This time, like and you're supposed to run, it's supposed to be bah, bah, and then around and come and finish. But this time they switched it up. It's like similar, similar tactics, similar techniques. So I was aware of the techniques, but that time I was really tired. So I, I messed up like two times. It wasn't even just the first time. I messed up two times. And what's that thing? Um, I messed up two times. So this one, I don't even know what drill is called, but it was, you they put cones one in the middle one on the diagonal to the right diagonal to the left you would have to run to the right one touch it with your right hand and then you face he told me face the train but i did not face the train i didn't understand i didn't comprehend it the first time like face the front so i turned my back he said never turn your back on the drill but i turned my back anyway but yeah, that one, you touch the cone, you touch the, the floor, the white line, then you go run, the other part is 10 yards out, you run there, touch it with your left hand, and then where do you finish? Mm, I think you finish, you touch it with your left hand, then you finish back where you started from. I think it was like, it was similar to the L drill, but like an angle L drill. Well, actually, what, what letter is that? It was like a K drill. I think that was the only thing that was different this year. This on that, that's the only drill that was different this year. And I think that I think that's all the drills. Oh yeah, and then the last thing they did, they gave us yeah this one they gave us a whole three four minute break, three four minute break. I was huffing and puffing. One dude had to come up to me and he was like, breathing through the nose, come out through the mouth. And I told him, I, I said I said thank you thank you for the advice, but the only thing I'm gonna be coming in is I took yeah I took I took his advice and you know I started doing. <sighs> And I felt, I felt my heart, like my heart, my heart rate slowing, if you feel like, yeah, how my heart rate decreasing. Yeah, I felt that, I felt my heart rate decreasing and it helped, but they didn't help in the 40 yard dash, in the 40 yard dash. So they split us into like three, I think it was five lines of seven people. First seven people ran, they chose the fastest two people. Next seven ran, chose the fastest two people. Next seven ran, chose the fastest two people. Next seven ran, chose the fastest two people. I think I was third in my group. Um, I was third in my group. Um, but uh, then after that, all those two people, they raced again. The two people, the two fast people in each group raced again. They chose the fastest two people from that group. Then those final two people raced by themselves and there was one winner. Actually, it wasn't even one winner. It was disputed, but they were close in speed. And I actually thought I, actually thought I was going to be amongst the top people for the 40 yard dash because i was practicing it but i think my technique and form and everything just wasn't 
fluid motion. So I think I got all the drills. So that's it for the, that, that's basically the tryout. That's basically the tryout. That's basically what it was. Um, and I'll give y'all more details in the next clip. So after the tryout finished, they said, thank you guys for showing out. Uh, takes guts, takes balls to come and try out. Not everybody does it kind of thing. So they gave us the motivational speech. Then my number one op came on saying, uh, he's gonna give us a call tomorrow if you make the team. And if you didn't make it, he's gonna send out an email like they did to me last year when you didn't make it. So, and then after that, after everything was done, went up to some of the coaches, asked them their names. I was like, what's your name? What's your role? Most of them were just recruiting. They weren't even actual, like they weren't the actual coaches for the team, but they were like, oh, I'm, I'm recruiting. I'm this person now, I'm this, I'm this. And then I asked the dude that, that mentioned the YouTube thing to me. I said, what's your role? He's a like, director of player personnel. And I asked him, how do you find my channel? Like, how'd you know about it? And then he said, we do, we do our research on all our players. And he gave me that look and I was like, oh, for real? He said, yeah, we do our research just to make sure we know who we're dealing with. And I was like, okay, thank you. I said, thank you for the opportunity. He's like, no problem. And before we even end the video, I have to mention more than half of the people at the tryout said they watched last year's video and it helped them for this year's tryouts. So um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video. You know, I... I I, I'm not making the video for myself to watch, but I'm making it for y'all to benefit regardless of what the coaches or regardless of how many ops or antagonists want to be in this in this series or whatever. Uh, I'm making the video for you guys to benefit. If you guys benefited, please subscribe, like the video, comment down below, follow my Instagram in the description if you want. And um, I'll update y'all if I make the team. The crazy thing was when I was thinking, if I imagine I try out for 2024, like I'm literally gonna be a two year tryout veteran. I'm a two year tryout veteran. I have two years worth of tryout experience. And then I come in a third year. And if I don't make it the third year, that's like failing three times. So I like, and I was thinking if I don't make it the third year, the fourth year, I'm literally gonna be competing with class of 2030 or class of 29. Like class of 29 is gonna be on campus by that time. So hopefully maybe one year I'll make it. But um, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, the people that at trials that watch my video, appreciate you guys for watching it. They they said motive, they said good words. They're like, without your video, they wouldn't have known. Uh, they wouldn't have known what to do in tryouts. So they thank me for it. And that's all I that's all I did it for, just to inform y'all what to expect. Because I would appreciate if someone made this video for me before I tried out last year. Two days after tryouts, um, I didn't get a call or an email regarding whether I made the team or not. Um, but I heard from certain people that 15 people did make the team. And I know at least five of them. So I, I know at least five of them. Five of my friends made the team. So that is interesting. Um, so I didn't get a call. Didn't get no email. It would have been better if they emailed us to like immediately so people don't like think that they made it and they're like hesitant and stuff but we didn't get no email or nothing yet and they said they were going to email us the day after so i don't know what happened on their part and the person that i was talking about that was the director of personnel that i said um i didn't like his attitude or the way he approached me kind of thing his name is daniel clements he's the assistant director of player personnel um yeah so that's it for the video. 2023 tryout series is over. Um, maybe next year I'll be treated fairly. Um, but until then, uh, see you guys in 2024. I'm done, man.